I just had an interesting conversation through private messaging and I really, really love this topic of a quote that I share that the craving to not have a craving is more intense than the craving itself. And that idea, that expectation that we put on ourselves of trying to be perfect, trying to get our nutrition right all the time, our workout routines, or all our habits that we think make us a good person and the person that we want to be and how we want to show up in the world, which is amazing and perfect. And at the same time, if it means that when you don't reach those expectations, then you're a failure, you're a bad person, you're a bad parent, you're a bad partner, you're a bad everything, then every time you don't reach your expectations, which for human beings that tends to happen a lot, quite a bit in my opinion and experience, then every time we don't meet that expectation, there's self-judgment, self-criticism. And we keep going in that cycle. On and on and on. Because we, when you don't meet your expectation, you just set a new, new goal. And then maybe you don't meet that again. You just set a new one. And I just need a different diet. I need a different workout routine. I need different habits. And then I need a different mindset. I need a different approach. I need a different coach. I need a different everything. And if you think about it, I've experienced this a lot. Like it's an ev- never ending cycle. Never, never ending cycle. And like I said in that quote, the craving to not have a craving can be more intense than the craving itself. Ah, that in itself is so freaking powerful when you really let it sink in. That desire to be. I've been writing a lot about. It's going to be coming out in the next weeks, I think. I've been writing a lot about that desire that we all have to just be perfect, enlightened, incredible, amazing masters at life. And we can forget that we're human beings, and that's okay, because it happens a lot. But the standards that we set for ourselves, which is good to have, Standards. I'm never not saying not to have goals. I'm not saying not to have dreams, not to have desires, not to have things that you want to accomplish, ways that you want to live your life, how you want to show up in the world. And at the same time, if if those standards are typically not met, and if when we don't meet our standards, then we beat ourselves up up and we treat ourselves in ways that are not very kind and compassionate, then that little cycle might keep going forever. And that's why I talk about the radical okayness, that idea of it's okay. If I'm going through this right now, it's okay. If I feel cravings towards a food, it's okay. If I feel cravings towards habits that I label as bad, and that every post out there on Instagram and Facebook is telling me that these habits are destroying my life and I need better habits. It's okay if that's what I'm going through right now. I love the phrase, come as you are. Yes, you're going to want to change. You're going to want to aspire for things. You're, you're going to want growth and you're going to experience growth. And at the same time, if you come as you are, from that place of self-acceptance, self-compassion, kindness, gentleness, love, forgiveness, from that place, the growth, the evolution, the change will be natural. We don't need to force ourselves, and I've done this all the time. Like, I, I d- download a new app to track my habits. I love tracking habits, and I'll share more of that in the future. But we keep adding and adding and adding things, and we can't accomplish it because there's only 24 hours in a day, 
we have a lot going on, we're already overwhelmed, but we keep adding more things to our plate to reach that level of perfection that we maybe unconsciously sometimes or very consciously want to achieve. But it, it's, it's, it's a challenging experience and it's an interesting experience because I think sometimes we do need to go through that cycle 3,478 times before we realize, okay, enough is enough. This is exhausting. I deserve a little better. And actually a lot better. And if, if I'm already going to experience this, if this pattern of emotional eating is right now extremely strong and way too strong for me to even try to control it or try to change it, then I might as well be kind to myself if I'm going to go through it anyways. I might as well be gentle with myself. I might as well love myself as I go through that process. So that idea of radical okayness, which I've been talking about for a while, and I know it can get tiring, but it's a fascinating exploration because it can go into any area of life. That energy behind that idea of the craving to not have a craving starts to dissolve and dissipate. And I don't have a time frame. I don't have the seven steps to destroy every self-defeating habit or to completely erase emotional eating from our experience. But I've noticed that that energy behind the craving to not have a craving gets stronger over time the more that we fight against it. For some people, that seems to work. If you're one of the people who you feel like you've tried that enough times and it doesn't really work, maybe it's not your willpower. I know there's a ton of research out there on willpower and amazing books on willpower, but maybe there's a different approach. Maybe through radical okayness is how we like I said, naturally shift that. For a while I've been saying that in in many videos I don't like to... I realize that one of the ways that I like to do my work is just drop little seeds and let them do their work on their own. I now never give someone... I do have videos on YouTube where I give tips because that's the specific topic of that video. When I'm giving tips, but typically I like to drop a little seed and you just let it germinate by itself. You don't need to water it every single day by doing a journaling exercise every single day. You don't need to do anything about it. The little seed is going to grow and it might shift your perspective in ways that are pretty surprising. So just let this seed today of radical okayness of all the crazy stuff that I just shared just let it in and that's it and you might see that the same way that I've seen same way that I've seen in other people that I talk to how life starts to shift starts to change without us forcing that change it's a pretty freaking fascinating experience i really really hope this helps have an amazing night